Does God exist? The answer to this question can be seen in the clear evidence of design all around us, especially in the human brain. Did you know? The brain is an extremely complex organ. It controls thought, emotion, memory, motor skills, vision, touch, temperature, breathing, hunger, and every process that regulates the body. If you were to look at a piece of brain tissue and it was the size of a grain of sand, you would see that it contains 1 billion synapses and 100,000 neurons. What's even more amazing, they're all in communication with each other. The storage capacity of the brain is virtually unlimited. There are around 86 billion neurons in the human brain and each neuron forms connections with other neurons. This could equate up to one quadrillion, 1,000 trillion connections. These neurons can combine over time, which can increase storage capacity. No computer on Earth can do this. The information in your brain can travel up to 268 miles per hour. The stimulation of a neuron generates electrical impulses, and this travels from cell to cell. Your human brain is able to generate about 23 watts of power, which is enough wattage to power a light bulb. The brain is simply amazing. With all of the power and functions going on to enable our bodies to work, it really is the most unusual and amazing part of our bodies. From the number of neurons firing to the storage system used by the brain, it's truly incredible. On top of that, the human brain controls the even more complex systems of the entire human body. It is quite obvious that the human brain was designed by a super intelligent engineer. When you look at its complexity and what it does to be the command control of the whole body, there is simply no way that this could have happened on its own. The evolutionary story is that the human brain developed from less complex organisms over a long period of time without any intelligence or mind behind this. There is, of course, no observable evidence for this, as it's all conjecture. It's a fabricated tale. Think about this. How did the human brain, which is the command center of the body, develop by itself and decide to control and communicate with the other parts of the body? How did the other parts of the body function before the development of the brain? How did the brain function when other essential parts, such as the heart, circulatory system and other systems need to be there for the brain to work? How did the human brain, with no intelligence behind it, learn to generate its own electricity to create electrical impulses which aid in the transmission of information to other parts of the body? How did the human brain, with no intelligence behind it, decide to develop an unlimited storage system in which neurons can combine over time, which can increase storage capacity? How did the human brain, which has the ability to think and reason, design itself without the need for another more intelligent brain to create it? How did purely natural processes, which do not think and cannot reason, cause the human brain, which can think and can reason? You see, when you simply think and use your brain, it's quite obvious that the human brain could not have developed on its own. There had to be a super intelligence, a master engineer to develop such an amazing thing as the human brain. To believe that something as complex as the human brain could have developed by itself with no intelligence behind it is beyond absurd. It takes a lot of faith to believe this. Blind, mindless chance cannot create the complexity and design we see in the human brain. If you want to learn more about the lines of evidence that prove the biblical worldview, please visit linesofevidence.com.